Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Trucker Team Game Pass. The description says, drive big rigs and dump trucks and deliver loads to other places. Not all trucks have goods to ship yet. So we're on the job and we're going to review it and see if it's worth the 50 Robux. So let's go ahead and look at the vehicles you get with this pass. So I'll see you in the garage. Alright guys, we got all the trucks here. And yes, do what Tula Apodka says. Do it. Do it or all these trucks will run you over. Anyway, let's go over the trucks. So let's start over here. This here is the FLC cab. It is pretty simple truck. I think it's got the most detail in the back area. It's also pretty flat from the top. I mean, it looks like a Peterbilt, like one of those, um, bigger Peterbilts. That's what it looks like to me. Next truck is the Freightliner cab. This one definitely does look like a Freightliner from the grill. Also kind of looks like a Volvo VNL if it had the little scoops on the side. Um, it's, it's got a sleeper. I think it's a sleep. It looks like a sleeper cab, because I think it is. But there is no bed in the back to sleep in. So, yeah, that's the Freightliner cab. Then, here is the most unique of the bunch. This is the dump truck. It's basically just a FLC cab, but with a dump dumper area. You can't get into the dump area. That'd be cool, though. And then, last but not least, this is the Freightliner. I mean, no, the Peterbilt flat-nose cab. It's supposed to be a Peterbilt flat-nose. It's pretty simple. Looks like it was made in the brick mid phase. I don't know. But, the FLC, Freightliner, and Peterbilt are basically the same thing, but with different shapes. So, let's get on to the hauling next. So, I'll see you when we get our load. Alright guys, so we have the truck set. Now, let's go over how the trucker job works. So, we have a logger trailer. So, if you look at the map, you see this green dot right here? This is our destination. So, we have to go over here, and it's right in front of us. So we gotta pick up the logs. So I just drive into this green, um, green thing. Looks like a square, but like a rectangle going up. So let's get lumber, ship to locations on the map, load the vehicle. And we have the load now. And if you look at your map, the shipping destination changed to right up here. So we gotta go up there. So let's start the cruise, and as you can see here, we got the log load of 100, and the truck's performance, I mean, it's not that great for performance wise, it's going like 90 miles an hour and makes 500 a mile, but then again it's a truck, so at the same time it's okay, but still, that is kind of slow, so if you're trying to buy the trucks to get yourself a good grinding vehicle, which actually, new players really don't know how grinding works, and most people know trucks are slow. So, if, you, if you're buying it for grinding, you, you need some help. But yeah, this thing is not good at grinding. For sure not. And the other trucks still go as slow as this. All trucks' performance, they top out at under 100 or 100, at least. They are pretty nice, though. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get the load up to the destination and I'll see you when we get there so alright guys so after a gruesome drive up a mountain I made it to the trucker destination and um, my friend didn't see see he did not make it rip to like he cannot make it but we have made it to the destination after grueling it. Like, uh, it's not really grueling, it was just difficult because the trucks didn't have torque to get up here. Let's see how much money I get from this. And I didn't get any money because I think it's broken. Well, let's sell my lumber. Zero nothing. But yeah, I think you're normally supposed to get two grand, 2300 from it. But I got nothing from it. 
so 2300 from it is that necessarily good well i would say not really considering the amount of time it took to get up here we have to drive up this mountain with our low torqued trucks and one of us didn't even make it and an event were blocked the way so yeah it was, took a lot of time and trucks are very prone to getting glitched out and bullied by cars since they're so much bigger than the cars but yeah I would not say this is better than grinding with a normal vehicle unless you're starting out this does do better but only on the Westover map since that's actually flat basically any flat map nothing like this it's too fast going 200 miles an hour all right so my general review over the trucker team is if you're gonna buy it to grind I would say do not do that don't buy it to grind but if you like trucking and stuff trucking if you like trucking this game pass is worth the 50 robux I wouldn't say it's worth it to make money since the trucks are very slow very hard to get up a mountain and it'll take lots of time to get to the destination most of the time since the trucks have pretty bad turning radius and if you crash into cars that'll make it even longer for only 20 gr three, two grand or 2300 with the um, dump truck in Westover oh and one more thing not all trucks have shipments to deliver in this map so like there's nothing for the dump truck to deliver here I don't think there is but there's also nothing for like the other trucks here there's nothing for the loggers in Westover so final review of the trucker team it's neat I wouldn't say it's good for grinding so if you're looking to buy it for grinding I would not thank you for watching the review and I'll see you later